Hello friends, this is Arnish Education and this today's video is going to be very amazing because in this video I am going to discuss the English for WSS preliminary, the previous questions that is last 18 years asked in the WSS preliminary from synonym and it is the set number 4. And in this video I am going to discuss not only the answers but I will explain the all the four options, okay. So only for this, this video is very amazing, okay. So now I am starting the slide, the first one. <clears throat> this is from the year 1999. Choose the word nearest the meaning to the underlined part of the sentences. Question number one. <coughs> Sorry friends. His sincerity was never in question. Options are A. Goodness, B. Honesty, C. Virtue, and D. Quote C. Find the answers. Okay. First of all, we see the word sincerity, the absence of pretense, deceit, or hypocrisy. That is called sincerity. Okay. So the right answer should be honesty. And the other, the three options that was option A, that was goodness. That means the quality of being morally good or virtuous. Option C were virtue. That means behavior showing high moral standards. And option D, that was courtesy, and that means the showing of politeness in one's attitude and behavior towards others. Okay, friends. So the right answer is B, honesty. Going to next one, the next question that is question number two. Rises in prices but not in wages seem to be the order of the day. Order of the day. And the options are A, the exception, B, customary c unusual and d the trend okay check the answer first of all we see the word order of the day the phrase order of the day a general direction in which something is developing or changing that means order of the day so the answer should be option d that is a trend okay now i am discussing the other three options the option was A was the exception, that means a person or thing that is excluded from a general statement or does not follow, the, follow a rule, that is called exception. Option B that was customary, according to the customs or usual practices associated with a particular society, place or set of circumstances. And option, and option C that is the unusual, that means not inhabitually or commonly occurring or done that is that was the three option now going to the next one the next question that is question number three he decided to open up to the police and tell them everything options are a emerge b develop c talk frankly and d start a business okay now check the answer the answer should be c that is called talk frankly okay and the other three options that is a emerge emerge means move out of or away or away from something and become visible that means emerge and option b that is develop that means grow or cause to grow and become more mature advanced and elaborate that means develop and option c that is start a business okay so the right answer should be c that is talk frankly going to next one the next question that is question number four the food did not agree with me and i felt sick food did not agree with me okay options are a decide by mutual consent option b approve or approve of or consent to option c hold similar opinion and option d suit now check the answer the answer is d that is suit that means being convenient for or acceptable to it is the meaning of suit and the other three options that was a decide by mutual consent it is not possible other options b that is approve of or consent to and option c hold similar opinion that should not be the right one okay going to next one next question that is question number five uh, this hard own liberty was not to be frivolously abandoned frivolously frivolously options are a impatiently option b lightly option c seriously option d partially let's check the answer the answer is option b at first i will check the word frivolously okay not having any serious purpose or value that is frivolously the answer is b that is lightly and the other three options that were a impatiently that means in a way that shows irritation or annoyance 
option C that is seriously it means with earnest intent not lightly or superficially that is called seriously and option D cursorily that means going rapidly over something without noticing okay going to next one the next question that is question number six the press he believed was invading his privacy options are a penetrating option b encroaching option c permeating and option d challenging now check the answer the answer is option b that is encroaching at first i will discuss the word invading invading mean intrude on a person's territory rights or personal life etc okay so the right word should be encroaching and the other options were penetrating that means go into or through something especially with force or effort that means penetrating option c that means uh, option c that was permeating that means spread throughout something that is pervaded and option d that was challenging that means testing one's abilities and demanding okay going to next one the next question that is question number seven my parents suffer from persistent elements options are a critical option b serious option c chronic and option d severe now check the answer first of all i will check the answer that is the chronic that means of an illness persisting for a long time or constantly recurring that means the chronic okay and the other three options that that is the option a critical that means expressing adverse or disapproving commerce sorry disapproving comments or judgments that is critical option b that is serious that means the demanding or criticized by careful consideration or application and option d that is severe that, uh, that means very great or intense okay going to next one the next question question number eight an idle brain is the devil's workshop options are careless option b slack option c inactive and option d dull now check the answer the answer is option c that is inactive that means not engaging in or involving any or much physical activity that means inactive and the other three options that is option a careless that means not giving sufficient attention or thought to avoiding harm or errors that means careless option b was slack that means not held tightly in position or loose and option d that was dull that means the lacking interest or excitement going to next one the next question that is question number nine with their wealth their reforming zeal and their nationalism the takers were preposterously expert okay the word is expert options are a competent be accomplished option c proficient and option d clever going to the answer answer is b that is accomplished that means well educated and having good social skill that is accomplished of and the other options were a that was competent that means having the necessary ability knowledge or skill to do something successfully and was option c that means that was proficient that means competent or skilled in doing or using something and option d was clever that means quick to understand loud and de device or apply ideas intelligent okay going to next one the next question that is question number 10 and from this section it is the year 2000 ram is a playable person playable okay options are a corrupt option b easily influenced option c practical minded and option d smooth talking now check the answer at first i will check the word playable what does it mean playable means easily bent flexible easily influenced okay that is the playable so the answer should be b that is easily influenced and the other three options were a corrupt having or showing a willingness to act dishonestly or in return for money or personal gain that was corrupt option c that is a practical minded and option d smooth talking those are common word okay so there should not need any explanation going to next one the next question that is question number 11 choose the word or expression that matches the given meaning 11 friendly options are a thick b thick and thin option c at loggers heads and option d congenial okay check the answer the answer sh should be option d that is a congenial congenial means pleasing or liked on account of having qualities or interests that are similar to one's own 
ओके अदर्स ऑप्शन वेर ए थिक बी वॉज थिक एंड थिन थिक एंड थिन मीन्स अंडार अल कंडिशन नो मैटर हाउ चैलेंजिंग और डिफिकल्ट दैट मीन्स थिक थिन एंड ऑप्शन सी वॉज एट लगार हेड्स दैट मीन्स इन भायलेंट डिस्प्यूट और डिज एग्रीमेंट दैट मीन्स लगार हेड्स ओके गोइंग टू नेक्स्ट वन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व दैट इज दैट इज टाइट लिंग ओके दैट इज टाइट लिंग Options are A highly, B thickly, C first, and D hipped. Going to the answer. Answer is option C. That is first. That means to be hard to move and securely. Okay, first to be hard to move. Okay, and other options were highly. That means at or to a high degree or level. Option B was thickly. That means in a way that creates a wide piece of something. And option D that was hipped. That means put objects or a loose substance in a heap. That means Hipped. Okay, friends. Going to next one. The next question that is question number thirteen. And from here, it was asked in the year two thousand two thousand one. Sorry. Swami Vivekananda led a godly life. Okay. As options are A as pious, option B heavenly, option C religious, and option D pure. Now check the answer. The answer is option A that is pious. At first, now check the word that is godly means. Godly means devotedly, religious, or pious. Okay, so the right answer should be the pious. And the other options were B, heavenly, that means of heaven or divine. Option C, religious, that means relating to or believing in a religion, that means religious. And option D, that was pure. <coughs> Sorry, friends. Option D, that was pure, not mixed with any other substance or material. Okay, going to next one. The next question that is question number fourteen. Many men sail to Africa in quest of gold. Options are A in in prospect of, option B in pursuance of, option C in search of, option D in expectation of. Okay. Now check the answer. The answer is option C that is in search of. Other options were A in prospect of, B in pursuance of, and D in expectation of. The right answer should be in search of. Okay, going to next one. The next question that is question number fifteen. The spacious arguments of the lawyers had no effect on the judge. Options are A. Which options are A? That is vicious. Option B. Illogical. Option C. Superficially pl plausible. And option D. Indefensible. Okay, going to the answer. At first, check the word that that was spacious. Spacious means superficially plausible, but actually wrong. Okay, or misleading in appearance, especially misleadingly attractive. That means spacious. The right answer should be superficially plausible. Okay, and the other three options were vicious. That is deliberately cruel or violent. That means vicious. And B was illogical. That means lacking sense or clear sound reasoning. Okay. And option D was indefensible. That means not justifiable by argument. Okay. Going to next one. The next question. Question number sixteen. Some mention of this should be inserted here. Inserted. Options are A added, B put in, C included, and D supplied. Now check the answer. The right answer is B. That is put in. Interrupt in a conversation or discussion. That means put in. Okay. Other options were added. Added means denoting an increased or enhancing quality or factor. Option C is included. That means contained as part of a whole being considered. And option D that is supplied. That means make something needed or wanted available to someone. Provide. Okay. That means supplied. Going to next one. The next question is: Your essay contains such superfluous matter. Superfluous. Okay. Options are A unnecessary, B needless, option C digressive, and option D redundant. Okay. Going to the answer. The answer is: At first, check the word superfluous. Superfluous means unnecessary, especially through being more than enough. Okay. So the answer should be unnecessary. And the other three options were B was needless. That means not necessary because Avoidable, okay. And option C, that is digressive, that means characterized by digression, tending to depart from the subject. And option D was redundant, that means not or no longer needed or useful, that means redundant. Okay. Going to next one, the next question, that is question number eighteen. And from here, it was 
asked in the year 2002 many districts of west bengal are prone to flood so the word is prone to and the options are a relate b prostrated c inclined and d reading now check the answer the answer is c that is inclined that means leaning or turning away from the vertical or horizontal sloping that in this sentence it should be inclined prone to means inclined it is correct one and the other options were a relate that means make or show a connection between option b prostrated that means throw oneself flat on the ground so as to be lying face downwards especially in reverence or submission okay and option d was ready that means in a suitable state for an action or situation fully prepared that means ready going to next one next question that is question number 19 there was a shadow across his face upon hearing the sad news options are a complexion option b look of gloom option c shed option d gravity now check the answer the answer is option b that is look of gloom other options were a complexion that means the natural color texture and appearance of a person's skin especially of the face option c was shed comparative darkness and coolness caused by shelter from direct sunlight okay and option d was gravity that means the force that attracts a body towards the center of the earth or towards any other physical body having mass okay so the right answer is option b that is look of gloom going to next one next question question number 20 Saurav Ganguly scored a delectable century against South Africa in the cricket match at Nairobi options are a delightful option b delicious option c entertaining and option d disciplined now check the answer at first take the word the word is delectable that means extremely attractive that means extremely attractive that is called delectable okay so the answer should be delightful causing delight charming okay and the other options were b delicious that means highly pleasant to the taste option c is entertaining that means providing amusement or enjoyment and option d was disciplined that means showing a controlled form of behavior or way of working that means disciplined okay going to next one next question is question number 21 there was persistent drizzle during our week long holiday in darjeeling options are a consistent option b incessant option c continuous and option d intermittent now check the answer at first take the word persistent what does it mean the word persistent mean continuing firmly or obstinately in an opinion or course of action in spite of difficulty or opposition that means persistent the answer should be incessant continuing without pause or interruption that is called incessant okay and other options were a consistent that means acting or done in a same way over time that means consistent especially so as to be fair or accurate option c was continuous that means forming an unbroken whole without interruption option d is intermittent that means occurring at irregular intervals not continuous or steady that is intermittent okay going to the next one the next question that is question number 22 and from here it was asked in the bcs 2003 his arrogance is exceeded only by his abysmal ignorance abysmal options are a bottomless option b eternal option c diabolic option d internal now check the answer at first take the word abysmal what does it mean abysmal means extremely bad appealing very deep that is abysmal so the answer should be the bottomless abysmal means very deep okay so the answer should be the very deep without a bottom okay and the other three options were eternal that means lasting or existence forever without end option c was diabolic that means disgracefully bad or unpleasant and option d was internal that means inner parts or features that is internal okay now going to the next one the next question question number 23 he abjured his allegiance to the kind abjured options are a projected b urged option c renounced option d expressed check the answer 
At first, take the word abjured, that means solemnly renounce a belief, cause, or claim. That is solemnly renounce, that is called abjured. Okay, the answer should be renounced. That means formally declare one's abandonment of a claim, right, or position that is called renounced. Okay, other options were a projected, that means estimate or forecast something on the basis of present trends, that is called projected. Option B was perjured. That means willfully tell an untruth or make a misinterpretation under oath, commit a jury. And option D was expressed. That means convey a thought or feeling in words or by gestures and conduct. That is called expressed. Okay. So the right answer should be the option C that is renounced. Going to next one. The next question that is question number 24. The orator spoke in a bombastic manner. Bombastic. Options are A ardent. Option B animated. Option C that is pompous. Option D is sensitive. Going to the answer. The answer is option C that is pompous. First of all, take the word bombastic means. Bombastic means high sounding but with little meaning. That is called bombastic. That is inflated. Okay. So, so the right answer should be pompous. Pompous means affectedly grand, solemn or self-important. That is called pompous. Okay. And the other options were ardent. That means very enthusiastic or passionate. Option B, that means full of life or excitement, lively, that is called animated. And option D was sensitive. Sensitive means quick or detect or respond to slight changes, signals or influences. That is called sensitive. Okay. Now, going to the next one. The next question, that is question number 25. And from this section, it was asked in the year 2004. As a scholar, he is almost peerless. Peerless. Options are A, superb, B, magnificent, D, unequaled, and D, famous. Now, check the answer. The answer is option C, that is unequal. What does it mean the peerless? Peerless means unequaled or unrivaled. That means peerless. Okay. So, the right answer should be unequaled. And the other options were A, superb, that means very good or excellent. Option B was magnificent, that means extremely beautiful, elaborate or impressive, that means magnificent. And option D was famous. That means known about by many people. That is famous. Okay. Going to the next one. Next question. That is question number 26. The speaker emphasized the salient points of the issue. Options are A. Relevant. Option B. Prominent. Option C. Appropriate. And option D. And option D is accurate. Now check the answer. The answer is option B. That is prominent. At first, take the word salient. Salient means most noticeable or important. That means salient. So, the answer should be option B, that is prominent. And the other options were A, that, that is relevant. That means closely connected or appropriate to what is being done or considered. Option C, that was appropriate. That means suitable or proper in the circumstances. And option D was accurate. That means correct in all details. Ex Exact, exact. Okay. Going to next one. The next question that is question number 27. The old lady is extremely loquacious. Loquacious. Okay. Options are A, humorous. Option B, talkative. Option C, foul mouthed. And option D, voluble. Now check the answer. At first, take the word loquacious means. Loquacious means tending to talk a great deal. That means talkative. Okay. So the answer should be option B, talkative. And the other options were A, humorous, that means causing laughter and amusement, comic. Okay. Option C was foul mouth, that means using or characterized by a great deal of bad language, that is called foul mouth. And option D was voluble, that means characterized by fluency and readiness of utterance, that is called voluble. Okay. Going to the next one. The next question, that is question number 28, and from here it has been taken from the year 2006. With great cunning, the clerk forged the important documents. Options are A, wickedness, option B, intelligence, option C, craftiness, and option D, skill. Now, check the answer. The answer is option C, that is craftiness. At first, take the word that, that was cunning. That means having or showing skill in achieving one's end by deceit or evasion. Okay. So, the answer is C, that is the craftiness and the other options were a was wickedness that means the quality of being evil or morally wrong that was wickedness 
and option b was intelligence that means the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills and option d was skill that means the ability to do something well expertise okay that is a skill going to next one next question that is question number 29 the boy was reprimanded by his father reprimanded okay options are a abused c beaten b beaten c admired and d rebuked okay now check the answer the answer is option b that is rebuked at first take the word reprimanded that means a formal expression of disapproval that is called reprimanded and the correct synonym is rebuked express sharp disapproval or criticism of someone because of their behavior or actions okay other three options were a abused that means treated with cruelty or violence especially regularly or repeatedly that was abused option b was beaten that means having been defeated option c was admired that means regard with respect or warm approval going to next one next question that is question number 30 please expand your commentary on the text expand options are a increase b amplify c enlarge and d magnify now going to the answer at first take the word expand expand means become or make larger or more extensive that means expand so the answer should be b amplify enlarge amplify means enlarge often or add detail to a story or statement that is amplify okay other options were a increase that means become or make greater in size amount or degree option c was enlarge that means make or become large or more extensive option d was magnify that means make something appear larger than it is or especially with a lens or microscope that is magnify okay going to the next one Next question that is question number 31 compared with the earth many of the planets are bodies of immense size options are a huge b vast option c large option d big okay now check the word immense immense means extremely large or great especially in scale or degree okay that means immense so the right answer should be the a huge okay huge means extremely large or enormous that means huge okay other options were b vast vast means of very great extent or quantity option c was large that means of considerable or relatively great size extent or capacity and option d was big that means of considerable size or extent okay it is big going to next one the next question question number 32 the chairman proceeded to speak in a dignified manner dignified manner okay options are a elegant b stately option c sarcastic option d loud okay now check the answer at first take the word dignified what does it mean dignified means having or showing a composed or serious manner that is worthy of respect that means dignified okay so the answer should be option b that is stately impressive or grand in size appearance or manner or slow formal and dignified that means stately okay so the right answer should be stately other options were a elegant that means graceful and stylish in appearance or manner option c was sarcastic that means marked by or given to using irony in order to mock or convey contempt that means satirical okay and option d was loud that means producing of or capable of producing much noise that means loud going to next one this is question number 33 and from here it was asked in the year 2007 our get man is a man of enormous size options are a healthy b tall c gigantic and d big let us see the answer okay the answer is option c that is gigantic that means of very great size or extent huge or enormous and the other three options were a was healthy that means good physical or mental condition and good there is there is some typing error and b was tall and d was big okay going to next one the next question that is question number 34 man does not live by bread alone options are food b substance c material prosperity and a good health let us check the answer in this sentence for this sentence actually the bread means food made of 
flour, water and yeast mixed together and baked. This is the actual meaning, but the informal meaning it is the honey. Okay, for in this sentence, it the answer should be material prosperity, and the others options were a food, b was sustenance. Sustenance means food and drink regarded as a source of strength, nourishment, and d is good health. Okay. <clears throat> Going to next one, the next question that is question number 35 and from here these questions have been taken from the year 2008. He pierced a balloon a pin. Options are A. Stabbed, B. Pricked, Option C. Penetrated and Option D. Burst. Let us see the answer. The answer is Option B. That is pricked. At first take the word pierced. The meaning is having had a hole made so as to wear jewelry of the ears, nose, or other part of the body. That means pierced. Okay. So, so the right answer should be the pricked. That means make a small hole of something with a sharp point, pierced slightly. Okay. And the other options were a stabbed. That means thrust a knife or other point weapon into someone so as to wound or kill. And C was penetrated. That means go into or through something especially with force or effort and D was burst that means break open or apart suddenly and violently especially as a result of an impact or internal pressure okay going to next one the next question that is question number 36 the mother hummed softly as she rocked the baby to sleep options are a chanted b crooned option c intoned and option d whispered okay going to the answer section at first take the word hummed. Hummed means make a low, steady, continuous sound like that of a bee. And the answer should be B, that means crooned. That means hum or sing in a soft, low voice, especially in a sentimental manner. Okay, that is a crooned. And the other options were A, that is chanted. That means a repeated rhythmic phrase, typically one shouted or sung in unison by a crowd. And options B were intoned, that means say or recite with little rise and fall of the pitch of the voice. And option D was whispered, that means speak very softly using one's breath rather than one's throat, especially of the sake of secrecy, that means whispered. Going to the next one. The next question that is question number 37 his letter fueled my doubts in this sentence fueled means options are a ended b increased c caused and d reaffirmed okay go to the answer section at first take the word fueled what's the actual meaning the meaning is supply of power and industrial plant vehicle or machine with fuel that means fueled but in this sentence the right answer should be the increased okay for this sentence become or make greater in size amount or degree that means increased and the other options were a ended that means come to sorry that means come or bring to a final point finish option c that was caused that means make something especially something bad happen and option d was reaffirmed that means state again strongly that means reaffirmed going to next one the next question that is question number 38 and from here the questions have been taken from the year 2009 the question is, I met a person in the meeting whose appearance did not reflect his mind, did not reflect his mind, okay? The options are A was deceptive, B was convincing, C was faithful and D is was honest. Now check the answer. Answer was A, that is was deceptive, okay? In this sentence, that means giving an appearance or impression different from the true one, that means misleading. And the other options were B was op was convincing, that means capable of causing someone to believe that something is true or real, that was convincing. Option C was faithful, that means remaining loyal and steadfast. And option D was honest, that means free of deceit, truthful and sincere. Okay, going to the next one. The next question, that is question number 39. The children was very vivacious in the playground. Vivacious, vivacious, okay. Options were A, smiling, B, sportive, and C, lively or full of life, and D was joyful. Let us check the answer. At first, check the word vivacious means. Vivacious means attractively, lively, and animated. So, the answer should be C, that is lively or full of life. Okay, other options were smiling, that means the action or effect of smiling. Option B was sporting, that means playful, light 
hearted and option D was joyful that means feeling expressing or causing great pleasure and happiness okay going to next one the next question that is question number 40 the musician has a very sonorous voice sonorous voice okay options are a loud b shrill c harsh and d full and deep going to the answer section the answer is option d that means full and deep first check the word sonorous means sonorous is capable of producing a deep and or ringing sound that is sonorous so the answer should be full and deep and other options where a was loud producing or capable of of producing much noise that is a uh, loud option b is shrill that means of a voice or sound high pitched and piercing that is shrill and option c was harsh that means unpleasantly rough or jarring to the senses that means harsh okay going to the next one the next question that is question number 41 and from here the questions the questions have been taken from the year 2010 hike in oil price may mar the future the future of the trade world mar the word is mar options are a harness b health b better and d worsen okay let's check the answer the answer is option d that is worsen first of all check the word mar the mar means impair the quality or appearance of that means spoil okay so the right answer should be the worsen worsen means make or become worse okay and other options where a was harness that means a set of straps and fitting by which a horse or other drought animals is fastened to a cart plow etc and is controlled by its driver there is another meaning of harness that is die in harness case okay that is that is also another meaning of harness okay and the b was here very common word and c is better this is a very common word okay so need no explanation okay going to next one the next question that is question number 42 and from here the questions have been taken from the year 2011 42 the maidens clothes were so busy that they created quite a sensation options are a beautiful b grotesque and c mundane and d lugubrious lugubrious okay going to the answer section the answer first one take the word busier means busier means very strange or unusual so the answer should be the option b that means grotesque grotesque mean comically or repulsively ugly or distorted or distorted okay so the answer should be the grotesque and the other three options where a was beautiful b was unden unden means lacking interest or excitement that means dull okay and option d was lugubrious that means looking or sounding sad and dismal that means lugubrious okay going to the next one next question that is question number 43 the teacher gave us explicit instructions options are a definable b resolvable c demonstrative and d detailed now check the answer the answer is option d that is detailed first of all let the word explicit what does it mean explicit means state it clearly and in detail leaving no room for confusion or doubt that means explicit okay so the answer should be the detailed option d okay and the other options were a definable definable means able to be defined option b was resolvable that means able to be resolved to which a solution may be found and option c was demonstrative that means of a person unrestrained in showing feelings especially those of affection that means demonstrative okay now going to the next one the next question that is question number 44 the concert was a port powery of events port powery okay options are a medley option b lengthy option c badly arranged and option d classical now see the answer at first take the word pot powery means pot powery means a mixture of or medley of things okay so the answer should be option a that means medley option b were lengthy you all know the word option c was badly arranged this is a very common sense badly arranged and option d is classical that means representing an exemplary 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 standard within a traditional and long established form or style that means classical okay so the right answer should be a that is a medley going to next one next question that is question number 45 that is cacography means and from here it is from the 2012 that is cacography okay options are a bad spelling 
option b good spelling option c incorrect spelling and option d none of the above now check the answer the answer is bad spelling the word that was a cacography that means bad handwriting or smelling spelling that means cacography okay and the so the answer should be bad spelling and the others options were b that is the good spelling and c was incorrect spelling and d was none of the above okay so going to the next one the next question that is question number 46 he changed his job and was out of frying pan or fire okay so the options are a is happy with the job b is misfit and c is in a condition from bad to worse and d is lucky in the choice okay so in this sentence the answer should be check the answer section the answer should be c that is in a condition from bad to worse okay and the other options where a was happy with the job and the b was a uh, misfit and d was lucky in the choice okay going to the next one the next question that means that is question number 47 hike in the price may mar the future of the trade world options are a is harness b is help c is better and d is worsen let's check the answer at first take the word the mar what does it mean by mar okay mar means impair the quality or appearance of that means spoil so the right answer should be the worsen there is another option that is a harness harness means a set of straps and fittings by which a horse or other drought animals is fastened to a cart or plow etc and is controlled by its driver okay and the option b was health very common word and c was better it is a very common word no explanation okay going to next one the next question that is question number 48 and from here the questions have been taken from the year wcs preliminary 2013 the patient needed an anodyne for his strained nerves okay anodyne options are a alcohol b opium c medicine and d pain killing balm going to the answer the answer is anodyne that answer should be b opium okay at first take the word anodyne what does it mean anodyne means not likely to cause offense or disagreement and somewhat dull this was the first meaning the second meaning is a pain killing drug or medicine okay so the according to the second meaning a pain killing drug or medicine the op the answer should be option b that means opium what is opium a reddish brown heavy scented addictive drug prepared from the juice of the opium poppy used illicitly as a narcotic and occasionally in medicine as an analgesic okay and others options were a was alcohol b was medicine and d was pain killing bum okay going to the next one the next question that is the question number 49 eruption means outbreak eruption means options are a bursting b equal c disease and d evil okay check the answer the answer is option b that is bursting at first take the word eruption what does it mean by eruption eruptions means a sudden violent or forcible entry a rushing or bursting in okay so the answer should be option a that is the bursting and the others options where b was equal and c was disease and d was evil all the options are very common words so no explanation and go to the next one the next question that is question number 50 it was queer to see his behavior options are a natural b odd c probable and d convincing going to the answer section the answer section at first take the word queer the queer means strange and odd okay so the answer should be option b that is odd and the others options where a was natural b was probable that means likely to happen or b the case and d was convincing convincing means capable or causing someone to believe that something is true or real and going to the next one the next question that is question number 51 select the pair on the following options which is set in opposition options are a erroneous and faulty option b reticent and silent option c vilify and slander option d none of the above okay now i'm going to the answer section answer should be d none of the above and now going to the explanation at first take the option a erroneous and faulty erroneous means wrong or incorrect and faulty means not working or made correctly having defects both are same the question was find the opposition okay find the opposition okay 
but in the answer section a erroneous and faulty those are synonyms okay and the option b that is the reticent and silent reticent means not revealing one's thoughts or feeling readily that means silent so those are the synonym and option c was vilify and slander vilify means speak or write about in an abusively disappearing uh, sorry disparaging manner okay and the slander means the action or crime of making a false spoken statement damaging to a person's reputation so those are not the opposition okay so going to the next one the next question that is 52 and these questions have been taken from the year 2014 choose the correct meaning of the word from the alternative given below of uh, the word is to the force and options are a masterpiece b is grand tour c is long tour and d is art and culture now going to the answer the answer is option a that is masterpiece a work of outstanding artistry skill or workmanship and the others options were a grand tour c long tour and d art and culture those are not possible okay so going to the next one the next question and it is the question number 53 choose the correct meaning of the word from the alternatives given below the word is insipid and the options are foolish option b is exciting option d is c is dull and d is sensible now check the answer section first take the word insipid insipid means lacking flavor weak or tasteless okay that means weak or tasteless or acting vigor or interest okay so the answer should be option c that is the dull and the other options were a foolish be exciting and be sensible all these are common words so no explanation going to next one next question number 54 select the correct synonym for the following word from the alternatives provided the word is lucid and the options are a is opaque b is solid c is clear and d is hazy now the answer section at first take the word lucid what does it mean lucid means expressed clearly easy to understand that means lucid okay so the answer should be clear the options are a is opaque not able to see through that is opaque not transparent that means opaque okay b was solid that means firm and stable in shape not liquid or fluid that is solid and option d was hazy that means covered by a haze or foggy okay that is hazy so the answer is option c that is clear and what was lucid okay going to the next one the next question next question number 55 select the correct synonym of the following word from the alternatives provided the word is inadvertent okay very common word options are a adversity b international c unintentional and d advanced now check the answer at first take the word inadvertent what does it mean inadvertent mean not resulting from or achieved through deliberate planning not a deliberate planning okay this is called inadvertent so the right answer should be option c that is unintentional okay and the others options were a adversity that means a difficult or unpleasant situation option b was international that means existing occurring or carried on between nations and option d was advanced that means move forward in a purposeful way okay going to next one next question that is question number 56 choose the correct meaning of the word from the alternatives given below incognito incognito means and the options are a candid b impromptu option c opposed and d disguised now check the answer section at first take the word incognito means incognito means having one's true identity concealed that is incognito or false identity okay so the answer should be d disguised okay and the other options were a candid that means truthful and straightforward or frank option b was impromptu that means done without being planned or rehearsed impromptu and the option c was opposed that means contrasting or conflicting with each other that is opposed going to next one the next question that is question number 57 select the correct synonym of the following word from the alternative provided the word is embezzle embezzle okay options are a steal b steal c honesty and d dazzle going to the answer section 
At first take the word embezzle. Embezzle means steal or misappropriate money placed in one's trust or belonging to the organization for which one works. So the answer should be steal. Okay. And the other options were B was steel, S T W E L steel, that means alloy of iron with carbon and usually other elements that is called steel, S T W E L steel. C was honesty, you know the meaning, and D was dazzle. Dazzle means brightness that blinds someone temporarily. That means dazzle. Okay. Going to next one. Next question, question number 58. Cricket is also a kind of A or N. Options are A, bird, B, insect, C, flood, D, flower. Now check the answer. The answer is cricket is an insect. Okay. What is a cricket? Cricket is an insect related to the grasshoppers but with shorter legs. The male produces a characteristic musical chirping sound. Okay. That is the cricket. And the other options were A, bird, C was food and D was flower. Those are very common words. Okay. Going to next one, next one that is question number 59. A page also means page. Options are A, sweet dish. Option B, a software. Option C, a book. Option D, servant. Okay, going to the answer. Answer is option D, that is servant. Page means servant. Okay, so the option, others options where A was a sweet dish. Option B was a chauffeur. Chauffeur means a person employed to drive a private or hired car that is chauffeur okay and c was a book okay so the right answer is a servant going to next one the next question that is question number 16 and from there the questions have been taken from the year 2015 question number 16 book may be used with options are a trousers b insect c ticket and d painting so the right answer should be should be ticket c okay because we book ticket okay so the other options were a trousers, b insects, and d painting. Those are not appropriate here. Okay, going to next one. Next question that is question number sixty-one. Choose the correct meaning of the word from the alternatives given below. Joiner. Okay, joiner. The options are a a grand tour. Option b is a specific category. Option c is a chauffeur. Option d is a long list. Joiner. Okay, going to the answer section. Genre means a style or category of art, music, or literature. That means genre. Okay. So the right answer should be option B, a specific category. Okay. Genre. And the other options were A was a grand tour. Option C was a software. Software means a person employed to drive a private car. And option D is a long list. Those are not appropriate in this sentence. Going to next one. The next question that is question number 62. And the questions have been taken from the year 2016. 62. Choose the correct meaning of the word from the alternatives given below. That is quintessential. Quintessential. Okay. And the options are most typical example. Option B, most wanted thing. Option C, most popular. And option D, most utilized. Now, going to the answer. The answer is option A. That is the most typical example. At first, take the word quintessential means. Quintessential means representing the most perfect or typical example of a quality or class. That means quintessential so the answer should be the most typical example okay and the others options were most wanted thing c was most popular and d was most utilized those are not appropriate in this case okay going to the next one next question that is question number 63 choose an expression similar in meaning to the word underlined below the word is imbroglio imbroglio okay and the options are a cacophony c b confession C, a confused situation and the candid admission. Now, check the answer section. At first, take the word imbroglio means. Imbroglio means an extremely confused, complicated or embarrassing situation that is called imbroglio. Okay. So, the right answer should be a confused situation in imbroglio. And the other options were a cacophony, that means a harsh, discordant mixture of sound, that is called cacophony. And B was confession, that means a formal statement admitting that one is guilty of a crime, that is called confession. And option D was candid, that means truthful and straightforward or frank. Okay, that is candid. Going to next one. The next question, that is question number 64. Heli flowers means heli flowers. Okay. Options are A, sweet sounding, option B, cacophonic, option C, loud, and option D, irritating. Now, check the answer. At first, take the word mellifluous means. Mellifluous means 
pleasingly smooth and musical to hear okay that is very fluous so the answer should be sweet sounding and the others words were was were cacophony b was cacophonic that means a harsh discordant mixture of sounds c was loud and d was irritating that means causing annoyance impatience or mild anger that is called irritating those are not appropriate for this words now check the other question that is question number 65 and this question has been taken from the year 2017 choose the correct meaning of the word the word is the phrase is a la mode okay options are a fashionable b cheap c expensive and d convenient now check the answer section the answer is option a that is fashionable okay and other options were b that means cheap cheap means low in price especially in relation to similar items or services c was expensive that means costing a lot of money and d was convenient that means fitting in well with a person's needs activities and plans that means convenient okay going to next one the next question that is question number 66 choose the word appropriate in meaning word underlined below the listeners were delighted by the music concert options are a surprised b saddened c angered and d excited now check the answer section answer is excited first take the word delighted that means feeling or showing great pleasure that means delighted and the answer should be excited and the others options were a was surprised that means feeling or showing surprise b was saddened that means cause to feel sorrow or make unhappy and c was anger that means feel someone with anger provoke anger in okay going to next one next question question number 67 cinema may be used with options are a cooking b selling c sleeping and d theater so the answer is option d that is theater actually what does mean by cinema cinema is a theater where films are shown for public entertainment so the synonym is theater others options were cooking selling sleeping those are very common words so there is no need of explanation okay friends so my today's video is this was the last one thank you for watching my video and thank you for watching to visit my channel if you think that i am a little bit if you think that this is helping you and i deserve a subscription from you then please go to my channel and visit there there are so many topics on different subjects and if possible and if you like that please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching my channel thank you thank you so